Bankroll, why the hell is you playing five or six different positions or even in the car in your second hometown? Like they don't know your head, your little small head. They know all your cars. You don't think, <laughs> you don't think when y'all go to the rental car places and y'all get the rentals, you don't think when y'all leave, the detectives, they come right in. Enterprise, hers, it no matter. They tell them anytime that entourage rent a car, y'all let us know what car they in. Anytime they rent a car, whether it's his manager, if they give you this certain name or this certain credit card or whatever they know, if they rent a car, you let us know. You see what I'm saying? Whatever they do for them, they do for them or however that works. You don't think they do that duck? Or you don't think they care about you like that? You don't think they want you that bad? Come on, man. You the best thing that ever came out the city. So for the police, what's the best thing for them to do? Get you some more felonies, get some convictions because you talking that talk, you living that life. They watch your Instagram, they watch your YouTube because they, cause they everybody can. So they know you sip, they know you blow. If you just show some pills, they know about that too. They know you on that too. So they know you got something. They know you got to ride around with that fire because you been getting death threats. And they know you got to ride around with that fire because you like to wear all your jewelry. When niggas know you got it, especially in Conway. And you know Conway been on fire for the past couple months. All this year they been doing buses. Bank row, you know I know last month they hit a nigga for 500000 worth for a meth, 24 pounds. Come on, then in uh, February they hit a nigga for about 67 pounds. About $3 million worth of shit. Come on, man. Them highways, Highway 64, Highway 60, uh, what else y'all got on there? Uh, I think 40. Y'all let down there. Y'all raising cane on fire. Y'all Kroger's on fire. All that there. The museum is hot. Yeah, don't trap down there either. All that shit hot. I took plenty of stepped loads and flatbed loads through there. So I know what's going on right now. And I know you hot. They know all your cars. They know you had the track hawk. They know about the years. They know about all the Dodgers. Yeah, you think you zapping and all that there. And you is. You is zapping through the city and all that though. You doing your thing. But they is too. They zapping through the city just on the law enforcement side. So yeah, some state troopers in the cut, sitting back, some on call, some getting tips from informants saying, yeah, you driving this, you in this, you in town. Come on, man. So you can't be playing five or six different positions in your own city, your own state. You can do that in Atlanta, but they don't know you like that. Yeah, you can have a standout car, but if you want a down-low type of car or a big escalator or something like that, or, you know what I'm saying, you ain't standing out and you blending in, you good because your face, even though you is bankrolled, but you ain't from there, so you ain't hot through all the polices in Atlanta. You ain't hot like that. You ain't a target because you don't be getting in trouble like that down there. You be getting in trouble in your own town, so other spots, you be good. You come to Charlotte, you be good until you get too hot. You come to California, you be good because it's big enough. You go to Texas, you good. You can make little moves. And I ain't talking about, of course, I ain't talking about you jugging all that there just because you got a felony charge on drugs. And like, we just having it there like that. You know what I'm saying? I use all this, you know, but other bloggers, they'll try to put that together like that to get more views or the police will think that duh. But nah, I'm doing all this. Yeah, all this, all this duh. Yeah, this me. You're not smoking, sir. I smoke. You're not smoking a whole pound. That's what they be thinking. Not knowing that. Niggas roll four grams in a blunt, three grams in a blunt, three and a half. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, they going through that. They running through that. So, you know, uh, with the firearms, I'm not sure if you a convicted felon or not. But if it is, hey, just because they charge you with it don't mean it's yours. Don't mean it's your car. They ain't say Hellcat. They ain't say what type of car. It could have been a rental. They ain't say what car. They ain't say no Lamborghini or no Hellcat or nothing like that. No foreign, no beans, nothing like that. No Corvette. They ain't say none of that. So, yeah, it could have been in a rental. So, nah. This ain't mine, this ain't mine. You know, get that thrown out. So, ain't no telling. I don't know if it's under your seat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all had to, you know, bend a corner. That's why it's important to, you know, even when y'all rent cars, to have fast cars. So, if a rental place, if y'all can't get nothing, the best thing you can get, always get a 392. Or always get a SS Camaro or something like that. I mean, not a Camaro, not a two-door, but anything four-door. You can get a 392 Durango, the SRT Jeep, or... You can get a Mercedes that's up there that got about 500 horsepower. You know what I'm saying? Stay in that range. So Enterprise, you know, car lots, the rental car places, if they ain't got no exotic rentals, you know, they at least have a car with 485, 500, 375, 400. So at least stay in that range with the horsepower if you can't find nothing with a supercharger on it. If not none of that, then the RT, regular Hemi. You see what I'm saying? If not none of that, then you need something big. You need something big, something where you can jump curves and stuff like that. You never know what type of situation. But you want those type of cars just in case. Yeah, we may got to go down for a gun or whatever else in the car. But if we got the switch on it, we got to bend a couple corners. Get the switch off. 
You see what I'm saying? Or get whatever this. We can't get caught with this. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to have that gap space between the police when you hit it. So you need 392s, Hellcats, uh, Corvettes. Uh, I mean, saying with speed, uh, Mercedes. You know, like the Maybach, like a Batman Cabo, or something like that. 650 horsepower. You know, Mercedes love that number. 650 horsepower or 675. They love that number. So somewhere around there, and you sturdy with it, and you can get about the way, which you already know. I ain't telling you nothing you don't know, but it's always good to rehear it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff I be saying, a lot of niggas that heard it a thousand times, but it's always good to rehear it. You know what I'm saying? To get it refreshing your brain. But come on, man, you can't keep making mistakes like that in your own city. Don't you find that funny? You'll never just sit back and think like, damn, every time I go to jail, I'm near Arkansas or in Arkansas. I don't never go to jail like this or get harassed like this on the West Coast or if I'm up north or northwest or certain other parts in the south. But I know how it be. You know, you still got a lot of love in the city. You know, you still got a lot of money in the city. So I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about, you know what I'm saying, on the narcotic side. I'm talking about just money like promoters or dudes, local dudes that got 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand for verses. A lot of bags. You got a lot of people want to pay you for promotion. Yeah, they think that, nah, I ain't talking about none of that. You just, a lot of money in the city because people gonna rock with you. Or if not your city, you can pick up a lot of different bags surrounding the city or close to that state. Or the reason why you like being there so much because you're right in the middle or you're close to a lot of places where you be going to get bags. So you may have to drive four hours here, five hours there, six hours there. So it could be a situation like that and plus your family and plus a female and plus some cooking, good cooking and all that there. But... None of that. I don't see none of that. It's worth you coming back. I don't see it. Because you got money. You bankroll. You can move all your important ones. Where you at? Or out of there. If not, hey, I only can come back certain times. Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, every blue moon throughout the year. But I'm in and out. I'm in and out. You know what I'm saying? You should know now. Nah, I can't ride with this. The only thing I can ride with is that fire. You know what I'm saying? They gonna catch me down bad. It's gonna be with the fire. But all that yeah, you can't smoke. Nah, y'all can smoke before y'all leave. Y'all can smoke when y'all get there. You know what I'm saying? Had a uh, smoke in a different car. Why is y'all riding it? All you need is the fire. Nah, we want niggas in my business. Well, hey, you must ain't got a lot of good people you could trust. Or it could have been, you know, it could be a time where they ain't around. And you got to do this now. Whatever you got to do, you got to do this now. And you ain't got time to make no phone calls and meet. So, yeah, but it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a quarter million. It's going to cost you a quarter million or more. You already know how I go, but you get money right now. But, hey, sometimes money can't bond a nigga out. Jailhouse lawyers trying to stress a nigga out. Gucci told you that. But that's my take on this conversation, though, man. Go.